About 12 minutes ago, the aircraft carrying Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor left Chinese airspace and they're on their way home. Oh, the sweet taste of freedom. And that's exactly what Michael Kovrig experienced right here at Pearson International Airport. Over my shoulder, he landed here on a Government of Canada Air Force Challenger jet. A three-year ordeal, more than a thousand days in a Chinese prison. And really, what was something known as the two Michaels phenomenon. There was two Michaels, Michael Spavor, Michael Kovrig. Both are now home on Canadian soil and the very first person to greet them when they landed in Calgary was Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. The chain of events was very complicated. Basically, the two Michaels were pawns in the big game, and that is because of the nicknamed Huawei Princess. Her name is Meng Wanzhou. When her troubles with the American court and the American justice system were sorted out, and she was put on a plane back for China. Within moments, the Canadian Michaels were put on a plane and sent home. There's lots of debate about the politics of it and about 5G and about where things are going technology. But at the end of the day, these are two Canadian men that the country cared about and they're glad to have home. They're human beings. They're home with their families. In the case of Michael Kovrig from the Toronto area, he was greeted by his wife. He waved at reporters, and now he's on back to a regular life. Maybe he'll even watch a Blue Jays or Leaf game. With Ernest Rosick out at Pearson at the Sky Service, where history's been made here today, Joe Warmington, Toronto Sun.